I want to speak in defense of the gospel, especially concerning this nation. We realize a lot of gangings and war against the church of Jesus. But the church of Jesus in Nigeria shall continue to prevail. Through the church, there will be rest for this nation. Lots of war, especially against churches like yours, because of the positive effect. You hear stories of uh, fight against church here and there, you know, physical, social media, and all of that. All because of the light in the church. Satan is attacking to stop the light from shining. But not when you and I are here. There is no place like the church. No. There is no organization in this country that is giving progress and image to the nation like the church. There is no better place organized and corruption free like the church. And many of us who are familiar with that know what I'm talking about. There is no place as maintained as the church. There is no place that is as useful as the church and church people. Nowhere. All the killings against church related people shall be ended. Say loud amen. One respected Nigerian put up a social media message. I've never met him before. I understand his, his name is uh, Dele Momodu. I wrote something very beautiful about the church. Well crafted. He said, why they complain about pastors? Pastors are running their churches 100% better than the way the president is running the country. He said, the fact is many Nigerians are losing it. They can't think beyond going after pastors. In what way has pastors prevented Nigerians from owning an airline? You are complaining uh, one pastor is riding, you know, flying an aircraft. Did he say you shouldn't fly your own as a nation? Do you find out what he's using his own for? Go to Ghana, have 10,000 souls won. Go to Kinshasa, 5,000 souls are won. And yet there are wasteful people in this country who are flying aircraft for evil. There are many young people who are flying aircraft for music show, leading many more people to hell. Nobody complains about them. In what way do pastors prevent Nigerians from having industries? He said further, if you run your government the way the church leaders are running churches, Nigeria might be another Qatar, Qatar right now. Now, he said, in all this argument, Canaan land has had stable electricity and water supply to its over 15,000 residents since 1999. Since 1999. Now, and it's already at the verge of converting waste to electricity. RCCG is also producing 25 megawatts of electricity. Yet your government, you will pay compulsory tax, pay VAT, CIT, pet tax, and has not been able to give light decades after independence. Living Faith has more than 25,000 staff and has never owed any of them salary. Yet your state government has collected allocation plus tax and cannot pay full salary. 
You see why people are angry with the church. Progress every day. I've been privileged to be part of this commission since inception. There is no day that staff salary is delayed. And we're increasing daily. Increasing daily. Churches are over 14, 15,000 today. Not one delay of salary. How is it getting done? Organization. 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 Nobody talks about it. The scholarship that the church is giving to people all across the globe in billions. Nobody talks about the road repair that the church is engaged in doing. On our road here, attempt was made. Let's repair it. They say, no, you can't repair it. How are we going to make money if you repair it? Church is doing a lot to establish rest for the nation. In case you don't know it, it's good for us to be aware of it. Particularly that outsiders are now writing about this. Hear more. Living faith, a single church, is schooling 16,000 of your citizens in higher institutions and many more at primary and secondary levels. Yet you think you have the capacity to waggle your tongue. I went for Shiloh, the man said, not a member of the church, all through my stay in the staff quarters, yet it was electricity all through. For one second, water did not go off in spite of thousands that were present. On a normal day, you won't walk 20 meters before you find a segregated man to dispose your waste. No dirt anywhere, everywhere is clean. Amen. Now, he said the entire area was fully covered by different layers of security with multiple CCTV and low T enabled Baptist gates. And yet, your Abuja capital of the nation does not have CCTV. Yet, you open your mouth to talk down on pastors. Canaan land hosts hundreds of thousands of people every week, yet no stampede ever. Government gathered people at stadium for recruitment exercise, and before it, was, it, it even began, many were dead. We are talking about the effect of the church on the nation. Don't let anybody confuse you. This is the reason for every form of attack we see on the church. Let's take over. We will set up a board of crosses for them, so they can use their corruption to consume the church. But God will never allow that. God will never allow that. So I speak this morning as God's agent under this commission. Every perpetrator of evil against the nation, against the church, will go down for the church. They'll go down for the church. Why are we speaking this way? Jesus was on the sea and there was great storm and he rebuked the storm. The Elijahs of God are rising again. We will not watch the church trampled upon by anyone. Corruption is to their neck. Stealing has become like drinking water to many in this nation today. All the taxes being paid are put in the pocket of many. And you are saying the church should not speak? The church will keep speaking. Check the records of the church. All the accounts are well audited. Is there any place as organized as the church? No. No. Projects are executed to accuracy. Everything is done orderly. No bribery anywhere. By reason of my privilege, virtue, no banker sees me for anything. You don't come behind and say you want to give me some money. For what? I'm content with what I have. I'm blessed. The church of Jesus will keep prevailing in this land. As you are having rest in your life and your family, God will give rest to this nation. A few days ago, a Christian was being announced to take over a government parasitical as chairman. 
in the same news in the same news few minutes after they say he has been removed somebody else is put there somebody else is put there who will perpetuate their intention and you say the church should not speak the church will speak the church give us the explanation why must you remove a christian and put somebody else there Abba. somebody who has occupied some position and is competent to do it in the same news 9 p.m news by the close of that news you said the person is removed and somebody is put there and you said the church should not speak the church will speak the church will speak give us the explanation the church will speak give us the explanation give us the explanation is it only full of people that know how to do things i put it everywhere why it's a nation of freedom it's a nation of all people whether you are from taraba or from kano or from Kasina or from uh, or your state it's a nation that belongs to everybody it's a nation where people are generating resources don't carry the resources to feed certain set of people in the nation that's where we stand that's where the church stands that's where god stands and standing with god is standing in victory what i've read to you was not written by a church member it was written by somebody who is reasoning a nigerian reasoning who has made comparison as per how things are happening as per how things are happening and they are happening well go around these premises for instance you see everything orderly everywhere come look at the horticultural with most minimal expenses everything is going on well no, where people will take contract of five billion and you will see a you know a wooden bridge a wooden bridge with five billion constructed with five billion god must rise in this nation i say god must rise in this nation the church is not apologetic no the church is a spiritual active center affecting every part of the nation therefore you are released to go as a positive contributor to the nation